Raw, I'm a cell phone. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> on how to overclock your Android device. Some first things you need to do is have a rooted device and have a device that's running a custom ROM with an overclockable kernel. And if you have no idea what that means, I would rec highly recommend you do some research before you attempt this as you can damage your device beyond repair as it's working with hardware and not just software. So what you're going to want to do after you understand the concept of these you're going to want to go to the market and install the app called overclock widget I've already installed it and it will show up in your app drawer and if you click it will just tell you to add it as a widget and if you don't know how to add it as a widget hold on the home screen click widget and it's going to be right there overclock widget go home I've already added it to my home screen right there and what you're going to want to do is find out what frequencies your processor can run at like ARIA the most that's recommended you go is 806.4 as it's not going to overheat too much or anything and I know on the Captivate the max that you should go is 1.2 megahertz, gigahertz rather and yeah you just have to know what your device is capable of so I'm gonna all I do is click it overclock widget and you set it to 806 or whatever frequency you would like set to it oh okay click the wrong button and boom, you're at 806 megahertz. You'll notice right away an insane amount of performance increase. And another nice feature with Overclock Widget is that you can go into Advanced Settings and you can change the uh, screen on max screen on frequency. So I can make that 806 is the max that it will go when the screen is on and you can make it screen off so you can save a lot of battery power and you can change the theme of it, change the check text color update the interval in seconds for for it to check what the max CPU should be running at uh, press notification, user frequencies detect frequencies, click here to define auto start on boot which is very nice so it automatically overclock you whenever you reboot and then save your settings and it will change this uh, the frequency will change in here it's not always going to be on your overclock frequency it's just going to change depending on what you're using on your phone and how your processor is being used so I can change this to where it won't be able to go below 806 which is just not good for your battery life and stuff so I'm not going to do that sorry I can't use this touch screen through the phone so it's set to it. So it's gonna it will always go to your max frequency right after you finish it, but it will start changing after a while. And guys, whenever you first put the widget down, it's gonna take a second, then it's gonna ask you for uh root access through super uh, user, then it will take another second to read your processor and learn the information about it. Then you'll be able to access it correctly. And when you go into the app drawer, the app will be right there. We'll just click it. And it's going to tell you to use this widget long press in an empty area of the default home screen and select widgets then overclock widget then tap on this widget to make the default settings uh... yeah and it's going to tell you how you don't know what's root you can visit android forums such as xda great forums you guys too that's what i use uh... and also guys i can't emphasize enough if you don't know custom roms kernels root do research before you do this as overclocking can fry your CPU if you do it wrong it can brick your device so guys definitely check with uh, XDA forums and stuff and just google and google and google and see what happens uh, max on the ARIA is 806 max on the Captivate that you should go is 1.2 megahertz gigahertz uh, guys check your max if you go above it you can fry your CPU have terrible performance on your phone and guys I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your phone if you brick it I'm not responsible so just saying that's your fault and that's the classic disclaimer that you're gonna learn if you haven't rooted yet everyone's gonna say that if you brick your device when rooting or flashing this uh, custom ROM it's not our fault that's your fault I'm sorry but yeah uh, how to overclock if you guys liked it please rate comment and subscribe and send me any requests they have for app reviews, tutorials, etc.
Alright, thanks for watching, you guys.